You fought gallantly during civil war. Buhari Hills, Northern Emir at 78. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. President Mohammed Buhari has congratulated the Emir of Zuru, Sani Sami, for attaining the age of 78 years. Now the news in detail. In a congratulatory message on Saturday, Buhari described the Emir as a great hero who fought gallantly as a military officer to keep Nigeria won during the civil war. Platinum Post reports that Nigeria fought a bitter civil war with then separatist Biafra Republic from 1967 to 1970, leading to massive loss of lives. Her statement, signed by Femi Adeshin, a special advisor to the president of media and publicity, said the Emir deserves special commendations for his role in nation building. It reads President Mohammed Buhari congratulates Emir of Zuru, Sani Sami, on his 78th birthday. October 24, 2021, rejoicing with the retired general, war veteran, businessman, and now a community leader on many successes, including prolonged dedication to nation building. The president shares the occasion with his friend, comrade in the army and partner in the journey to keep the country united and prosperous. Recalling memories of fighting side by side in the civil war and the good fortune that sustained the emir, who suffered injuries and almost paid the ultimate price. President Buhari affirms that the royal father loves Nigeria, fights for peace of a country, and diligently rose as a career soldier with sacrifice and selflessness, courageously pursuing the greater good for the greater majority and measuring out to humanity more than receiving. As the heir of Zuri turned 78, the president notes his patriotism, loyalty and commitment, and contributions at every turn of Nigerians' history, always taking the side of fairness, goodness, and honor. President Buhari prays that Almighty God will bless the royal father with longer life, good health, and strength to keep sow sowing, watering, and reaping from good works. Congratulating this particular area was wonderful, but there are some words you do not use, especially when Noting the time, now this is coming out. You cannot be once in the unit of this country and you, you make use of words that will incite, um, will incite or will cause a rift more, creating more rifts than there has, or there has already been. You cannot, there are some things, there are some things diplomatically, you know you don't say them just as it is. You congratulate him, mate, fine, it, it is... It is wonderful, but making mention of this is something that the, that is causing problems now. In the southeast region, there is problems. So, creating, saying such statements, you know, and sending such as a congress, it, it, it does not sit well. And you keep saying Nigeria's unity is non-negotiable. Meanwhile, you're one inciting these people. This will just incite more, cause more rift, create more differences. This is justice. That's the truth. That is the truth. It will cause more, more, more rifts between <laughs> the citizens of the indigenous people of Biafra. Yes. It will cause more rifts. You don't come and say things at such a time like this where things, you know, things are very delicate. You don't just, there are some statements you avoid. And being a leader who is not supposed to take sides. That's just the truth. A leader is not meant to take sides. A leader is meant to be very, very neutral. He should be all about what would really bring about the unity of Nigeria. And so such statements like this should be, should be avoided. But unfortunately, it is sad that it is coming. And he has people around. The thing is, the thing is, this administration, I do not understand. There are lots of learned people around Mr. President. So this is exactly the reason why um, such message and Nigeria needs somebody that is healthy. Yes, yeah, somebody that is healthy can easily draft this. This message is something that you can draft by yourself and you do it. I do not believe, sincerely, I do not believe that this will come out at this time, especially when you know anything you say triggers these people. Triggers them. Causes more 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 open more wounds wounds have already been opened in short 
more has been added to it. Sauce has been added to injury. You're adding more pepper to it. And you are saying these people should not scream out. You're saying Nigeria's unity is not negotiable. And you are using such terms in a congratulatory message. I mean, it's, it's not supposed to be. It is not in any way. It is not supposed to be at all. Message like this sparks up or incites more violence, especially coming from um, the person who is supposed to maintain, who is supposed to be after the unity of Nigeria in every peaceful way, in every amicable way. It is, it is, it is, especially at this time, at this time where there is so much tension already out there, that anything, anything you do, if you're not, if you're not careful enough, it will trigger a lot of, a lot of unforeseen actions. And then you, you go ahead and make such congratulatory message. I mean, this is, this is not right. It's not right. Exactly why, exactly why, as I said earlier before, why they're supposed to be Someone who will, you know, there are things, there are things that I believe, <laughs> that I believe that they're not actually done by the president himself. I mean, those around him should, of course, what do they gain? What do they gain in Nigeria being as each other's fruits? What exactly is the gain? What exactly do they gain by, you know, seeing uh, uh, um, fights between this particular region and the other? What is the gain? What is the gain? I keep asking. What is the gain? Is it favoring them? Is it favoring them? I keep asking myself. Why? Why do this kind of a, uh, uh, make such a statement at a time where there is so much tension already outside? And when these people begin to react now, this will already, wounds already open, salt have been placed on some wounds, some wounds that it, some wounds. Some wounds are, are already created. Have already been created on top of the old ones. But now this will this will fuel it the more. It's like adding pepper to an open wound. It is going to cause so much pain. I mean, it is it is not it is not supposed to be. It is not. Coming from, from the fact that he even it even went through the President, uh, um, advice, special advisor for for media and publicity. I mean, it is it is not this is this is not right. It isn't. This will only cause more or incite more or fan whatever flame that these agitators have. And of course, the the reactions are not going to be pleasant. I believe things there are things that are supposed to have, be averted, averted, if only things are being done diplomatically. And I tell you, at the end of the day. You see that these things that are supposed to be that are supposed to cause many trouble because it was handled diplomatically, they are not going to be causing trouble. It is sad. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.